Hey, good morning and welcome back to 2 News Today. I'm Zach Pitts. And I'm Lauren Wood alongside Kelly King and Storm Team 2 meteorologist Jamie DeRosick. We've been talking a little bit about history today. It was 15 years ago today that Hurricane Ike hit Ohio and caused just all kinds of problems, especially mm -hmm. in southwest and central Ohio. Yes, it, it, I mean, it looked like a war zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many trees down, tree limbs down, roads closed. Everyone had no power for maybe a week or so. I think we went nine days without power. Um, and you can see some of the damage photos uh, here where it was just, I mean, and it wasn't just, you know, one or two neighborhoods. It was area wide. I remember the panic about how you would get gasoline if your tank wasn't because so many of the gas stations didn't have power either. Right. So even if they had gas, it was hard to find one that you could actually fill up at. Right. Uh, we were trying to figure out why Zach has no recollection. Uh, no of recollection whatsoever. whatsoever. Yeah, he no, wasn't here. I wasn't living here. Oh. I lived in Hawaii during this time. <laughs> so. Hawaii? I didn't know this about you. Okay, really? so okay, we'll get to that later. Story. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was like one of the ma most yeah. major storm impacts that I mean, I can remember and it was just crazy. So 15 years ago, hard to 15 believe. years ago. Yeah, and we'll take a look at some of the history of the track of Ike. You can see it started in the Atlantic there and then it tracked first making landfall in eastern Cuba as a category four storm and then some strengthening fluctuated as it went into the Gulf of Mexico. It ended up making landfall September 17th in Galveston, Texas as a category two storm and then it weakened into an extra tropical storm. It tracked right through Indiana and hit us here in Ohio September 4th with the windstorm that produced those winds, 60 to 80 mile per hour gusts as that remnants moved through. And it was actually the second highest wind gust ever recorded in Dayton at 69 miles per hour non-thunderstorm wind gusts. So looking back on the history there, 